Hi, well, we're here at the Marriott Hongqiao Shanghai Hotel. Now, all this week, you know that we're working with cinnamon. Now, this particular dish is actually a pork belly with cinnamon. I think it's really interesting because it's a Western dish. But we all know that the Chinese braised pork is actually also uses cinnamon or gui pi. Now, this dish will be completely different, but I think it's going to be just as fabulous. So, let's go buy our ingredients and then we'll come back and teach you how to make this. I've actually got a piece of pork here and I was told to get the black pig. Now this is the only piece I can get. I'm not sure if this is going to be okay, but probably you could also work with this piece. It's got the skin on it, we wanted that. It's got the fat layer and then it's got the meat and it's from a black pig. It's also organic, so we'll grab that. We now need to get our pumpkin. Okay. Whoa. I don't think it really matters what type of pumpkin, whether you're going for the red, green, the jack pumpkins, these sort of pumpkins. I think they're all fine. They're going to be mashed up. So whatever one you prefer, then you should grab that one. Okay, now, of course, we need to get our cinnamon. Okay, so we've actually got different types of uh, forms of cinnamon that we can buy. We've got this in the powder form and then the stick form. Okay, we're using the... Uh, cinnamon that is commonly used in Western cooking and it's actually you can tell very easily it's quite thin um, whereas the Chinese one is actually a thick sort of a large piece of bark looking um, cinnamon so it's it's actually quite different and I think the flavors actually do to you know vary quite a bit too um, but throughout this week we're going to be using these two different types of cinnamon grab them Okay, so we've got all the ingredients in front of us and I get this sneaky suspicion this is going to be as fabulous as the one that we cooked yesterday. So, how do we actually get started with this? Okay, well we've got the uh, pork belly. Yes. This is a uh, Berkshire, Berkshire pig pork belly. Okay. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a black pig which is a rare breed, it's got better flavour mm. and it's got more meat content. So okay, that's fine. okay. Yeah. And in China you can get that quite easily yes. actually. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So this has been uh, this is this is already cooked okay. you know, for about uh, 12 hours in, in olive in oil. In the plastic? Oh. No. We we, uh, we put it in olive oil and we do vacuum pack it. But you don't have to. You can put it uh, in a in a tray with some olive oil. You put the pork in there and then you cook it uh, very very slowly in the oven. It's a bit messy because you've got a lot of the. Uh, Juice. So if you can see here, this has actually got a quite a high fat, yeah. uh, so low fat content, or yes, high, high yes, meat yes, content. Yes, 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 yes. So we'll okay. portion it first. It goes through there quite easily. You can see the. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah. So okay. if, you're, if you're on diet, stay away from this. <laughs> okay. Okay. And this you can crisp up and use for a salad or. Ah, okay. You know, the, the Chinese have a braised pork belly yeah. and uh, they use cinnamon in it, but it's a slightly different type of cinnamon ah. that they use. Can you tell me what sort of cinnamon, the Western cinnamon, and there's a Chinese cinnamon. One is called cinnamon, the other one is called what? Let's see if you can answer that. No idea. No. I don't speak Chinese at all, so. The Chinese say goi pi. Okay, and it is actually a type of cinnamon we call it. It's the same family, but it's actually cassis. Uh, okay. So, so we've portioned it. It's a lot smaller now. You don't need a lot because it's full of flavour. And, okay. uh, and if you if you would serve too much of this after a while, you get yeah, bored with it. Yeah. Okay. So hot pan. Yes. Yeah. Then we have a little bit of oil. Can I have the oil, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Make sure that the pan is hot before we put the oil in. Yep. Okay. Not too much. Just make sure it doesn't stick. Okay. okay. Lower the heat. So we heat it up first. Yeah. Heating the oil, it's going to stop it from sticking. But then we have to bring it down to a exactly. medium sort of yeah. low. Okay. Now this this uh, pork has already been uh, cured again. So we've yes. uh, put it on salt for six hours yes. and then washed it. Okay. Yeah, so you don't need to add any salt. Do any, you do that salt. before you cook it? Yes, okay. before. Okay. So 
but that's what you want to hear. Okay. <laughs> and you can see you've actually also taken off that top layer of fat too, yeah. so you've reduced the amount of fat that's on it. Exactly. So you're just trying to, you really just want a little bit of that sort of sizzling, but that's it. Yeah, in the beginning you want quite a lot of sizzling, okay. but later on you go, you, you turn it down you a little bit. You want it to Yeah, you want, to, you want to have control. Okay, okay. Okay. So whilst that's cooking, what else should we be doing? Okay, so now we've got, uh, as an accompaniment, like I said, we do the pumpkin mash. Should I heat this up? Yeah, okay, so we've got pumpkin, which has been uh, steamed first. Yep. And then later on mashed like a mashed potato. Yep. Yeah. Then we have hazelnut, hazelnut oil here, this is for the finishing. Lovely. And we've got a bit of double, double cream. Because he's from Holland. Okay, so pour it all in. Yeah, all of it. And then you can put the cream, add the cream to it, but not, not too much. Can I, can I do that? Not that I don't trust you. I know that you're really wanting this to become a good dish, right? Well, <laughs> don't, not on TV Let me every touch day. <laughs> as little as possible. Minimise the danger. <laughs> you can see we're rendering a lot of the fat. Yeah. And then what we do is in the last five minutes we add some cinnamon. Ah, so it's going to flavour it. Yes. Are we going to use the oil in a second? No. Okay. No, the oil is uh, pure so pork. Now fat. I'm going to heat this up then, am I? Yeah, that's, that's just a little bit of uh, uh, red wine jus. So it's got red wine, a little bit of beef jus, and then we reduce it down. Okay. Very simple. There's every chef. It is simple. Take some time. And I should not burn it then, right? No. Preferably not. No, just low heat, just warm it up. Okay. Whilst we're doing this, you were talking about this fabulous. Uh... Oh, that's our walnut. Oh, it smells actually quite. It's the honey and the walnut. Uh, the, yeah, the hazelnut, sorry. Oh, it's a lovely smell. Actually, it's good enough to go with the cinnamon. For sure. Okay. okay now, the, the glaze. Yes. Right? So, can I have a spoon, please? A spoon. So this one is the which one was this one? That's the that was the hazelnut. hazelnut. We need that later on okay. to finish off the pumpkin. So we do the uh, we do a little bit of uh, cinnamon. Yep. So we're using both the cinnamon stick and the powder in this dish. Ah, uh, you're getting fancy. It was it was near. It was luck. <laughs> Yum. Now that is a nice concoction. Okay, so this is the glaze. The glaze is done. Okay. Now, see, I'm sure you could just leave that made up. Uh, yes. You know. I think we're ready to plate do, up. Do we we have to finish this. Yes, we need to finish this. We don't need it on the heat now, do we? Uh, no, 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 because you've got everything in there already. So we're going to put a little bit of the... This was right here. Okay. There's another oil. Okay, so we have to give it a bit now. of a whisk. Emulsified. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's what was it. Make make sure it gets really. Yeah. All right. Okay. Put this. Mm -hmm. And then we take our pork. Beautiful. That is probably one of the best cooked pieces of pork I've seen. That is just sensational. Okay. Okay. And then we do the glaze. Ah, so you do the glaze after? Yes. Just a little bit. Nice. You can oh. use a brush. Brilliant. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Oh, and then it just absorbs yep. all of the flavours. Look at it, it's just it's just sucking it all up. Now we have the Yum. chorizo. And, and the chorizo is done the same way then as the yep. crackling, is yep. it? Okay. Just dry it out. So we mix that. Yeah. So you get a real nice porky. And you've got a lot of the texture there then. Mm -hmm. okay. Very easy. We'll use our hands today. For colour. Beautiful. Wow, who would have thought someone from Holland could create something like this? So it's easier 
You can see the different layers. Yes. The flavor. Just go. My goodness. This is a bread knife, people. A bread knife, we would call this. Just a normal knife. And it is just... It looks like fish. Take a little bit of this. It looks like fish. You That's can how succulent see it's, it is. It's evenly cooked everywhere because of the slow The cooking. poaching. The pork melts in your mouth. And the honey on top. Actually, I'm surprised. We put quite a lot of honey and cinnamon yeah. on top, but it, it doesn't overpower it at all. And yet it really has glazed it. It's not become like a sort of a sticky sort of thing on top no. at all. It's just all of the meat has absorbed. Oh, and that is sensational. Honestly, that is like a party for the palate. It's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, it's so nice to have you on. This is fantastic. This is really exciting for me. And understanding that cinnamon doesn't have to be that... Uh, main flavour. What it does is it can be a, a main flavour, but it also can be that subtle underlying yes. flavour that gives depth to something. Balance. Gives balance. Yeah. Awesome. We'll see you tomorrow with another superb dish.